Nitrix is one of the most bizarre Linux distributions that I've ever seen. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean it in a, hey, let's build a new Linux distro and make everything about it different sort of way. Nitrix has actually been around for a few years, but it didn't really hit the spotlight until late 2017. At this point, it's probably most well known for being that distro that uses app images, as if that's a defining factor for Linux distributions. First off, you don't actually install Nitrix. You deploy it. Sounds weird? Well, it is. If you know anything about software development, you might be familiar with Docker and containers in general. Now, I don't want to go into the weeds with this video, but basically you don't install Nitrix like you would with Ubuntu or whatever. You deploy it, or copy the contents of the ISO image to a storage device as a single file. Persistence, or the ability to save files to the device, is provided using Overlay File System, which is the same mechanism that Docker uses to handle persistence in Docker containers. Like I said at the beginning, this whole process is just bizarre. I'm not trying to say that it's good or bad, it's just weird. I'm unclear as to why this method is better or preferred over the traditional method of installing an operating system. That being said, if you wanted to try out Nitrix, you might be confused after you download the ISO and try to fire it up in your favorite hypervisor. Because of the funky way the distro is deployed, it requires EFI to be enabled, which is not enabled by default in VirtualBox or VMware. And once you enable EFI and successfully boot into Nitrix, your first thought might be, well, how do I install it on my virtual hard drive? Well, that gets back to the whole deploying thing that I talked about. As you can see from the video, I'm running Nitrix from the ISO in VirtualBox. Now this is not the recommended way of using Nitrix as you can't actually deploy it from the ISO. Instead, they recommend deploying Nitrix with ZNX, which I'll talk about in just a second, to physical hardware. And as much as I love you guys, I'm not going to risk a hard drive trying to deploy this thing. So we're just gonna test it out here. So to deploy Nitrix, you use this odd little tool called ZNX, which is, by the way, written entirely in Bash. ZNX is a self-proclaimed Linux distribution deployer and updater tool, and you can get ZNX as an app image, and if you want to deploy it on physical hardware, you would first hit the init the device, and then deploy the ISO. It's really weird, and the UI could use some serious polish, but it seems to do the job. So now that we've talked about all the weirdness around installing or deploying or whatever the distro, let's finally talk about the distro itself. Now, as you can see, it's using a not desktop environment called NX Desktop. They specifically say that it is not a desktop environment and that it's not a fork of Plasma 5. Instead, NX Desktop, des desktop which is uh, kind of awkward to say, is a compilation of theme customizations and new default applications. For example, NX Desktop has its own file manager, which is awesome, and its own setting manager, which is clearly a reskinned version of Plasma settings. And obviously, the NX Desktop uses a bunch of standard KDE applications like Console, Kate, KInfo Center, and you get the idea. So I actually quite like the aesthetic of the NX desktop. The colors are good, the icons look great, the overall look and feel is great. The applications are also really cool. I was really surprised to see just how many custom applications there were. For example, Index, the file manager, it's just awesome. From a visual perspective, this is probably the nicest looking file manager I have ever seen. You can even browse your installed apps from right here in the file browser, thanks to the tight integration with AppImage. And speaking of app image, you may have heard that Nitrix exclusively uses app images. Their software center is full, and I use the term full loosely because there's actually not very many app images here, but I assume that there are supposed to be, and for some reason it's not updating because this is a really limited selection of app images. But the point is that it uses app images to install and distribute software, which is kind of a cool idea. AppImage competes, for lack of a better term, with Snap and Flatpak, and as far as I know, Nitrix is the only Linux distribution that uses AppImage by default, and I know that people are going to correct me in the comments, that was just kind of an off-the-cuff comment. I'm sure there's other distros that use it too, but you get the point. The Software Center is a bit strange though, it doesn't have, like, categories or very strong filtering or curation or even pictures on most of the app images. It's clearly like a work in progress and you can't judge it too hard. I think it's kind of an interesting idea and quite honestly, it's clearly beta, but it works. 
It didn't crash or really do anything stupid when I was using it, so that's pretty cool. So overall, Nitrix is a pretty strange Linux distribution. From a user's perspective, I don't really have a good idea of what they plan on doing with the distro, and I can say that the deployment model of installation is far too complicated for the average Linux user to want to figure out how to use. I find it to be somewhat similar to like Solus or Elementary OS, where it's like its own sort of independent distribution and it's kind of making its own desktop and its own applications and it's kind of interesting that Nitrix has been kind of running off the radar and I haven't really heard anybody talk about it so but I think that's going to wrap this one up so if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like comment subscribe if you want to support me you can follow me over on coffee I'm also on twitter and I've got a patreon you can follow me there too I'm also partnered with Linode, so if you want to get yourself your very own virtual private cloud, you can use my URL, linode.com eg. Get yourself a credit towards a new account. I appreciate all your support, and thanks for watching.